and now it's gonna start raining. Yeah. Please take it to Thailand, Thailand Rob. Back here with Rico. Hello. Suave. He was saying again, he's like, and I'm sorry about the school across the street and their loudspeakers. He was like, um, dude, it it must take so much courage for you to just pack up and just go to Thailand and live. And I said it in one of the other videos, I didn't do that. I don't say goodbye to people because I always think I'll see them again. I don't pack up and move to Thailand thinking I was going to stay over here. So I didn't feel like it took a whole lot of courage to do it because to me it was just going to be like a long holiday. Which everybody, and you did for like two months you're here, right? Yeah. But like I was saying, most people at the end of the day, they don't, they don't want to get out of their comfort zone. They don't really have the uh, courage, as you might say, to just pit, pack up and go, you know? Um, yeah. It's not every everyday people that are usually gonna get up and do it. And um, for me, it was just I said one day, you know, I wanted to change my life. I was I was sort of getting tired of the whole day to day, doing the same mundane routine. And he's he lives in Canada. I by live the way. in Canada. Yeah, I'm a Zamboni driver. I drive a Zamboni. That's a cool job, though. A Zamboni <laughs> driver is a cool job. If you gotta have a job, it's a Canadian job. It's the most Canadian yeah. job you can get. How are we getting rain? Oh, oh, oh. I was telling him when he said he came up here for two months. Perfect. And then he's going to go back home and do his thing. And then if he wants to move back over here later, he's got a good idea of what's going on. Yeah. And you get a better perspective on the world. I mean, and uh, it's raining. Another question I always get. Rob, why don't you wear a helmet when you ride the motorbike? All right. Kamala is very small. I will have to say on any given day, I probably ride my motorbike. Um, there's a bar for sale. Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, random. So, on any given day, I probably ride two kilometers max. I drive very slow because Kamala is a very small town. Uh, it's like three roads to the beach, one road to my house, and that's it. I do have to cross one busy road, and so usually I'm driving very slow on this road, which is beach road, just to go see, uh, to get something to eat or, you know, hang out and have a beer or something. But I don't wear my helmet when I'm riding from my house right over to the beach road. And yes, I could still get hurt. So I do hear what you're saying, I know. But if I do go anywhere like to Patong or uh, Siren Beach or anywhere on the main road, I always wear my helmet. So I want to assure everybody, wear your helmet, and I do. I just don't do it if I'm riding on a side road. So another question. How do I stay so white? Uh, I do like the Thai people do. I walk in the shadows. I don't go out a lot in the main sun. I try to go out in the mornings where it's cooler and not as bright. And then I go out in the evenings where there's just no sun. I don't sit out in the sun. I don't go on the beach and I don't tan. I don't want to tan. Uh, I burn very easily, so I just try to avoid the sun. And 50 SPF block, sunblock. 50 SPF sunblock. Works really good if you're on the motorbike with the arms extended all day long. Yep. They start working here very, very young. How would I compare the beers here? Uh, okay. I think, I feel like the beers that I've had in Thailand are more they're a lighter beer. There's not a lot of heavy beers here. Uh, I mean, you can get them, but the Thai beers, like Leo is a, it's a medium, it's a medium. It's not like heavy, it's not like light. And they have San Miguel light, which is very light, kind of like Michelob light in the US, or Michelob Ultra, I mean. Then they have Heineken, which is Heineken, which, never mind, that's not even a Thai beer. Generally speaking, most of the Thai beers are kind of light. They're not really heavy beers, and that's about all I got. I mean, I like the Leo, and for some reason, Leo's the cheapest beer here, but I just, it's got a good flavor, and I don't get bloated. So yeah, that's beer. Driver's license. Okay, no, I do not have an international driver's license, and I did not have a Thai license, but what happens over here, in a nutshell, is if you're pulled over by the police, if they're searching for your license, there's a fine. If they're searching for you not wearing a helmet, there's a fine. Basically, there's a fine. So, do you have to have it? No. 
And if they're searching for something, you're gonna pay a fine anyway. So I don't have an international driver's license, but I recommend one, but I don't think it, I don't know. I don't have the answer, sorry, cop. I don't have the answer if an international driver's license is accepted over here, I just don't. But I know if they want to fine you, you're gonna get fined. There's checkpoints, you're gonna get fined. And tonight's meal was a nice spaghetti, what, car carbonara? Carbonara. And when they put it in the bag, I did not notice that the, the lid was loose because it started raining, so I drove the motorbike home in the rain. Rain's in the eyes, bag, food. Anyway, long story short, food is in the bag. So I've dumped everything into the bag from the 7-Eleven. And that's how I get to eat now. This is really freaking disgusting to eat this way. But oh well, this is what we gotta do. This is what we gotta do. Because I'm not, not gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. It's still so good. And if you're a new subscriber, you don't know. They heat this for you. They give you the fork, spoon, uh, and put it in a bag. Only unfortunately this time, the lid was loose. That was because I didn't check. Usually they don't do that. Customer service, A number one, Thailand, 7-Eleven. Which leads to the next question. Rob, why do you eat crap food? I like crap food. I'll give you an example. All right, so back in the US, I became a licensed massage therapist, uh, had my license. And um, so we go every day and everybody in school is like drinking water and they're vegan and sabai, and everything's wonderful. And I'm in there drinking my Coca-Cola and eating McDonald's. Yeah, so my whole life, crap food, and I'm not tooting my own, I, I probably will not have a long life, I don't know, we never know these things, but the thing is, I've always eaten crap food, so for me to come to Thailand and eat at 7-Eleven is not a big jump from what I was doing in America. I do go and have Thai food, I mean, did you, I mean, I don't understand. There's so many videos where I go to the Thai buffet or I have Thai food. So I have Thai food, but I like crap food and Coca-Cola's and beer. Yeah. Yeah. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Not goody goody.